The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the, the quare vein's release of the wrist, which is to free up the tendons on the side of the wrist uh, over the radius uh, that go to the thumb and extend and bring the thumb uh, up and out of the plane of the hand called abduction. The skin a, is incised longitudinally and the subcutaneous fat is uh, incised as well. Uh, great care is taken not to injure very tiny nerves on the side of the wrist known as the radial sensory nerves. Uh, injuring those nerves can cause irreparable harm to the patient in that the patient would develop a pain syndrome. Uh, once these nerves have been uh, identified and retracted away, attention could then be turned towards a very tight ligamentous band that is sitting over the uh, tendons and these are uh, gently released. Great care must be taken to release the t each tendon group individually, the abductor pollicis longus tendon and um, the extensor pollicis uh, brevis tendon. The abductor longus extends the thumb at the base of the metacarpal bone and the extensor brevis extends the thumb uh, at the base of the uh, first uh, finger bone, the proximal phalanx. Here you can see that uh, both tendon groups have been uh, released and one could see the movement of the thumb uh, by pulling on those uh, tendons and one can see that a complete release has been done. Uh, it is important also uh, to uh, be careful to release the ligament uh, away um, uh, distally, uh, meaning towards the thumb, because leaving residual fibers can cause the patient to have residual pain after the surgery. As well, one must be careful to release the tendons to the muscle tendon junction so, uh, so as to assure that a complete release has been done. Uh, the skin is closed in routine fashion after checking to see that the radial sensory nerves have remained uh, uninjured. The uh, dressing stays on for 10 days and the uh, patient must be very gentle with the use of the hand for a period of four weeks. The, um, the closure uh, is done in routine fashion and it is critical for the patient to keep the arm elevated for 48 hours and keep the dressing clean and dry for 10 days so as to avoid uh, infection.